Hey fellow Star Wars citizens, Scrapshot here. For the past day or two, I've been running uh, salvage missions with my MISC freelancer, earning around 800,000 credits an hour. But only if I'm a little lucky. I know this sounds a little weird, since we're usually flying around uh, with a vulture or a reclaimer when completing these salvage missions. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that and make a small fortune doing it. And if you're interested in playing Star Citizen, make sure to use the referral code listed here and also in the description. You'll earn an additional 5,000 credits of in-game money when you do. If you're a subscriber, leave a comment with your referral code. I'll randomly choose someone's referral code and promote it in my next video. Alright, let's get started. So the gist of the money making scheme is this. Look at the personal salvage missions and take a Drake Cutlass Black or Misc Freelancer mission. Uh, they will run you 10,000 credits. Then head on over to the salvage. You have 30 minutes to get there and take whatever you want, as you can see on the timer on the hood. I outfitted my Freelancer with a military grade B Jaeger Quantum Drive. So getting from wherever I am to the salvage is quick, rarely more than two minutes. Once you're there, do a scan of the ship. Hopefully it will tell you what's inside, but I've learned not to trust the sensors. I always hop out and do a visual. In this case, I see there's a lot of good contraband, which is exactly what we're looking for, so I line up for the transfer. This is another good reason for bringing a uh, freelancer and choosing either a freelancer or a cutlass mission. Now we just begin the process of transferring whatever is in the salvage ship to our ship. I don't worry about setting up the boxes all pretty like. Just get everything in the hold. I had a salvage mission recently where the goo guys showed up 15 minutes early, so I learned not to stick around any longer than I have to. Now we set a course for the nearest planet or moon where a scrapyard is present. In this case, we're heading to Hurston. About halfway there, I stop and go rearrange my boxes so they'll be recognized when I go to sell them. If you like what you're seeing, and you find my content helpful in playing Star Citizen, it'd be awesome if you would like this video and subscribe so others will see it too. And then we continue on to the scrapyards on Hurston.
Once we arrived at the scrapyard, we head on over to this building located in the center of the facility. It houses a no questions asked trading terminal. And we choose the freelancer. Well, okay, we have quite the little haul here. My off screen math tells me that we made 438,000 credits, which sounds like a lot for a single run, and it is. The downside is that I ran around three of these missions before I found a load like this. So, really, I'd say I've earned more like 398,000 in the past half hour. Uh, with only one good run. The others were either empty or had nothing of value. On average, I'm making over 750,000 an hour. That's assuming the missions are available too. Once back at the ship, toss all the remaining cargo out the rear. They were either ore, which you can't currently sell, or something not worth running all the way back to the CBD to sell. And then we start all over. You could do this with an Avenger Titan or a Nomad if you wanted to. They have room for several boxes. All you need to do is be able to identify which boxes you want. The only ones I'm familiar with uh, as being worth a mint are the green ones. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. Scrap Chat out.